uh, Dr. Mark is a welcome addition to uh, those in the space community who have had the opportunity to uh, visit us here, uh, here at MIT. He's going to talk today about something that he wasn't allowed to talk about for many years. And when he gave me a choice of topics, I said, this is the one we want to that we want to hear about because uh, it was off in the black world for so long. Dr. Mark will talk to us about space operations during the Cold War. Hans Mark. He's always welcome. And you really want to ask a last question. Oh, yes. I could tell you I'm a former Russian scientist, uh, pretty deep involved in all this stuff. Now I'm a full-time job for Museum of Science. And if you want, I could tell you a real story how powers uh, was shut down. <laughs> if you want. Yeah. Because I yeah, was talking witness. to the microphone. This way, yeah. Okay. Uh, may is it a shock? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it takes uh, three minutes, no more, because immediately after it was done, I was there, and it is very the piece of chalk. <laughs> and it seems it about time to know how it was. It is Sverdlovs. It is Sverdlovsk Airport. About approximately about forty. Kilometers uh, in Russia. <laughs> okay. Then it is Yonospheric Station because I'm former Yonospherist and I was there. And it is abrasive plants up here. It is about 700 meters. And it is elect power, power, power plant, you know. And power was here, shut down. And how it happened? Shortly. No rocket shut down here. A rocket, uh, you know, targeted our plane. How it happened? Because when it was obvious that at first our firefighters, you know, um, uh, got a, com a command to fire, not to get it, but it was unreachable. And uh, nobody knows uh, why, but it was commanded to return back. One did not. Maybe he wants to be a hero, maybe he didn't hear something. And uh, the rocket, the missile targeted him. And uh, it is because power survives. It is obvious. And uh, all the, you know, this is powers. This is our firefighter. This is rocket. And this is, you know, the sound wave. And this destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to tell that it is the first time I tell this. I, I, I read a lot of articles about this. They never mentioned this. I know the Beatles. It's possible. <laughs> yeah, he's my friend. Okay. And I speak with you a little bit later because regarding to missing stuff, I want to connect you later. Okay, sure. Now everybody knows how it is. <laughs>